Hello, I'm Charlene Stevens. Welcome to Council Update. Today we're going to discuss the retirement of our Public Safety Director, Craig Willery. Joining me is Councilmember Steve Dennis. Councilmember, we have uh, been talking about this for a little bit for of a while. Craig gave us a, quite a bit of notice as a city that he was going to be retiring in February, and that time has come. And at the last council meeting on February 21st, the City Council and community had a chance to honor him. And let's talk about that. Well, you know, this, this is a little bit of a bittersweet thing because uh, uh, virtually everybody here uh, loves Craig Woolery. He's a fantastic person and uh, one of the best people that we know. And that came out of uh, a lot of the statements last night. And in fact, you and I just mm -hmm. today, we were at City Hall uh, as he received some more honors. So <clears throat> this did occur at last night's meeting for February 21. And um, we had a number of people that came in to speak. One of them was uh, former council member Justin Olson. And uh, what he did is he brought in a very generous check for $500 that um, is in Craig's honor that will be used for creating a scholarship. And this will go through our public safety board. Um, and what he's looking to do is provide an opportunity, whether that be for books, tuition, whatever, so that, as he said, we could maybe develop the next Craig Woolery, mm -hmm. which is a, a great tribute. And he's uh, he's on the hook now for, for every <laughs> year. He's promised this. So said that we're, we're going to be looking for that donation come every year. And there may be an opportunity for the public to also <clears throat> make some donations Absolutely. to the public safety board. And then uh, we also had uh, Washington County Sheriff Dan Starry, who presented a, a plaque to Craig in honor of the 34 years of public service, acknowledging his leadership leadership uh, on the Washington County SWAT team. Senator Carla Bingham also was in attendance. I got to get used to saying yes, that. Um, she had uh, a quote that that really was was good. She said that um, she never expected that the person who was her dare officer 30 years ago would be someone that she'd be honoring here at this point. So she actually presented a um, a commissioner's award, award from uh, the time when she was our Washington County Commissioner. We also had our representatives Tony Jurgens and Keith Frankie uh, read a House resolution drafted in honor of Craig. Uh, I myself had a chance to do a little speech, which um, words came from the heart to yeah, talk about his nice service job. and uh, you know the fact that he's been consistent through all the years in the way that he approached the job, always bringing his best. And this was through every level of promotion that he received, um, in the way that he treated people, all people. No one was ever left out, treated with respect, kindness, courtesy, um, and, and being very humble. And, uh, and then last but not least, just thinking about all the contributions that he's made over the years as a paramedic, you know, the, the people that he worked to save their lives, mm -hmm. um, as a police officer to answer the call to service and duty to protect all the folks that have lived here over the course of 35 years. And last but not least, as, as a, a manager and uh, a mentor and a steward of the public trust, um, again, absolutely fantastic. So uh, I did my piece. Mayor Bailey also read a, a great proclamation from the city where we named uh, February 23rd as Craig Wolvery Day in Cottage Grove. And then um, last but not least, we had Craig's wife and sons. Everybody was up there. We presented him with a large shadow box that for folks that don't know what a shadow box is, it's a big framed mm -hmm. unit that had all of his patches, his badges, insignia, name plates. We put some engraved plates in there to talk about his titles over the course of the years. And it turned out beautiful. And uh, you know, part of my background, I've worked you know, in customized awards and gifts and that type of thing. And uh, of all the projects I've ever worked on, and I've worked on some really good ones. This was the one I, it really hit me the most. So very, very proud to uh, to provide that. And I worked with Pete and Craig's wife to get those items. So it was, was a really great thing. So um, Craig is as humble a man as you'll ever find. And this was hard on him mm -hmm. to accept the love and the consideration out of the community and neighboring agencies and all the people that he's touched over the course of the years. So really, uh, one of the fantastic, most fantastic things for me as a council member to be part of. And of course, I worked with him many, many years ago. So it was fantastic. It was a very nice way to honor Craig. And uh, Craig Woolery's uh, time comes to an end, his tenure comes to an end with the city on February 23rd. And then he's still going to be a community member. I'm sure we will see, still he, see him being active in our community. And uh, we wish him and his wife and his kids the best in retirement. And uh, we're grateful for the service that he gave to the city. And, we're, and we, we, we thank, every, thank him for everything that he did over the course of the years. So, All right. For more information about the Public Safety Department, contact Pete Kerner at 651-458-2850. Thank you, Councilmember Dennis. Thank you.